most reasons that those radio shrouds are missing probably are because they're sort of a pain to put back in the Jeep when the radiator's in there and everything and they people just say, ah, the heck with it, and they throw it under the workbench or wherever and it never gets put back on. Uh, another reason it might get missing is if something happened, let's just say the water pump shaft broke and the fan went out and ripped up the shroud or, or the shroud came loose or something, got caught in the fan, well then it got taken out and thrown away because you know, unless you went out and searched the junkyard for one, you couldn't probably find one. Uh, nobody ever reproduced a lot of these until at this point to the ones that we did. When somebody buys an old Jeep, they're not uh, super familiar with it. And so they don't even realize that there was a shroud even there. And so they just assumed all the parts are back on it, but in many cases they're not. Or somebody put a a different motor in or rigged up a radiator from another vehicle and now the shroud didn't fit either. So they just don't know, you know, because it's it's just something that you don't expect. It's not like ha having the door on it. You know, when the door's missing, you know it's missing. The shroud, most of the people don't even know it ever had it. We had to make because we were getting a lot of calls for them, but people realized they were gone. People put stuff on the internet and everybody reads it and realizes out are having overheating problems and the shrouds are missing, you know. So we got enough calls on them that we looked into getting them made, and uh, and we had a pretty good response on them, you know, and been selling pretty well with them because a lot of people want to put them back on. It does definitely help in the warm weather, of having the Jeep run cooler. The, the CJ2A radiator shrouds were soldered right on the radiator. And then if you had the extra fan extension ring there, that was screwed on with screws, uh, nuts and little nuts and bolts. And then the, the CJ uh, 3A and the 3B and the CJ5 also had real small sheet metal screws screwing them onto the sides of the radiator. And the, and the station wagons and trucks of the L226, the radiator shroud was bolted on with the radiator to the grill. A lot of models had different radiators in them and every radiator had a different shroud. Uh, the, the MB CJ2A radiators were basically the same except the, the 2A had the option of having the extra shroud extension ring on it which really wasn't available on an MB and and I think it was really only an option on a 2A probably when it had power takeoff stuff on it or some extra kind of equipment because you don't see it on all of them. And then uh, then you got into the 3A's, the radiator changed, so the shroud changed. And then you went to the 3B, the radiator stayed the same, but the shroud changed again because it had a different motor in it. it they sort of looked the same, but they're not. And then the CJ5 changed again, it had a different radiator on that, so the shroud changed again. And uh, the shrouds on the earlier ones were like different stampings pieced together and welded together where you went to the CJ5. It was more of a stamp shroud than it, it was probably a heck of a lot cheaper to reproduce than, than putting welding all them different parts together. And then we did uh, the L226 wagons and trucks and sedan deliveries. Uh, those again were another one where there are a bunch of pieces welded together. And so we, we did that one too. So we have most of all the models covered on the old Willie stuff.